All right, today guys, we are here with Hunter from the factory and Cameron from Grassmaster. And we're doing a little bit of a follow-up and some examples of the autonomous mower and the ZXT that Cameron's been trying in action. He's had these machines for roughly two weeks? A couple of weeks now. Yeah, yeah, something like that. And we wanted to touch base with him, get a chance to see them in action and see what he thinks so far. So Cameron, we've done, uh, I guess this is the third demo that we've done in the past couple of days. So the first demonstration that we did, we went to that commercial property you've taken me to a couple of times. And you guys may have seen this in some of his footage. It's a fantastic place to try the autonomous mower because it's mostly wide open, but it's a real life example of a business that needs to be mowed. They mow weekly, correct? Weekly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So do you know about how big that place is? It's probably two to three acres. Okay. Very wide open though. So. And do you have any clue how long it normally takes you to mow by yourself without the autonomous machine? Um, probably a couple hours, I'd say. Okay. Yeah. And then do you have any kind of feedback at this point about how long it would take with you on the 72 ZXT and running the, the autonomous machine? Well, if, um, if I had the autonomous, autonomous mower running with the ZXT, I'd probably cut that time in half. Okay. So it's almost like having another person running a mower full time with you. Oh yeah, absolutely. All right, fantastic. And then the second place that we went yesterday evening was an electric company. Uh -huh. And it didn't seem like it was quite as big, but that section off to the side of the property was still probably a couple acres. Oh yeah, sure. About right. And do you have any clue, normal amount of time versus with the CXT and the autonomous machine? Um, it usually takes me probably an hour and a half to mow that just for that one section maybe. Oh, the big section uh -huh. on the side? Okay. Yeah. And so with the autonomous running, it probably cut the time in half as well. I could okay. I could keep the autonomous mower over there on that long section while I kind of mowed out in front of the uh, mm -hmm. in front of the building with the ZXT. Yep. And so it worked out probably if I if I took the ZXT on the front of the property and I mowed and trimmed, I could probably do that in the same amount of time that the autonomous ZK mowed that big area. And then today we we're here at a riverfront property, beautiful uh -huh. vacation home. And do you have any clue how big it is? Um, they own about seven acres out here. I probably mow closer to three and a half, four maybe. There's a lot of woods out here. Mm -hmm. And there's a big section that you'll see a little clip of where it's mown that's mostly open, but then, then the trees get thick again. And this section back here by the river, there's not a lot of room to set the autonomous machine up and run it. So it's a little bit more limited, but it's still, do you think it's, close to half or you think it's more like a 40 percent time savings or uh, i know last time i was out here i took the autonomous mower on the big section mm -hmm. which you'll see here uh, shortly and then i took the zxt on the smaller section and the same thing applies you know the the autonomous mower was out there knocking that out while i 
knocked out the other section and was able to trim out by the road and we finished about the same time. Okay, so e even in this property, it seems like there's enough open grass that you can keep the autonomous mower essentially busy doing something yeah, sure. while you're doing the rest of your work. Exactly. And I know it's only two weeks, but you seem to be pretty proficient with it already. Yeah. Um, anything that's surprised you that it does different or better than you originally anticipated, or maybe somewhere that you're able to use it that you didn't think that you would be able to use it? Um, right now, I mean, it's, it's pretty well done what I thought it would do. Okay. Uh, I knew it would cut my time in half and save me a lot of time. I have a, several bigger properties where I'm able to utilize that machine. And yeah, it's, it's been a huge time saver. Awesome. Fantastic. Any other thoughts? Anything else that you would like to add? I think it's a, uh, it's a nice machine. I'm excited to see here, you know, looking forward to the future, just what this machine can do for like different guys in the industry that are kind of set up like myself. I'm a really small company, but at the same time, I take care of some big properties and it just allows me to knock them out a whole lot quicker. That makes sense. Do you think that it's something that will um, affect the profitability of small businesses who are trying to mow commercially? Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, if they focus on a particular like niche uh, market, that autonomous mower can really make them a lot more money at the end of the day. And now that you've played with it for a little bit, do you feel like that you could actively monitor two autonomous machines and still trim and blow, or do you think that that's pushing your current comfort level? It's probably where I'm at since I've only ran it for a couple of weeks. That's okay. probably out of my comfort zone. Okay. I would probably rather uh, let one autonomous mower run while I trim okay. instead of having two. Now, depending on what property, I know that first property we went to, mm -hmm. that would probably be okay because it's big open area. The mowers will be in the same general area. So I would feel comfortable putting two out there while I trimmed around the building and everything like that. But on some of my other properties, I probably wouldn't feel too comfortable, you know, putting two out there right now. Hunter came with us from the factory. He flew down here from Maryland. Um, he is responsible for rights, uh, all their content, a lot of the marketing, etc. We wanted to film Cameron in action so that people could get a good sense of what he's doing. He does a fantastic job of filming himself, but it's hard to it's hard to run a full-time mowing business and a full-time production business at the same time. So we wanted to uh, have the opportunity to see what he was doing and show you guys. So we've obviously run these autonomous mowers quite a lot. Yep. Um, but we wanted to get some real life action with an owner operator. Uh, most of the people who currently have these autonomous mowers are really large national accounts or um, municipalities. So we really wanted to see it in action with someone, owner operator, going around to different properties, bringing two lawn mowers on their trailer and working through all their properties throughout the day as opposed to more of a corporately run account. So. This machine's not just meant for super large companies. We want to take companies like Cameron and allow them to be more efficient and also scale a little bit easier if their, their labor market is limited and they don't have access to a lot of talent, then we want them to still be able to bid on properties, be more efficient, be more productive, be more profitable while not being limited to um, something they can't control. So when you're in a situation where you can buy an autonomous mower, learn how it uses and grow your business, um, Wright wants to make you more productive. I think it's super important that Wright's not just here to build lawn mowers, but to build businesses for everybody involved. So if we can create a machine that allows someone to be more profitable and scale more quickly or just be able to have a successful business, but then also have time to go home to dinner at night, then that's a win for us. So, you know, building mowers and building businesses is really important. There you have it, folks. As Cameron would say, that's all. Until next time. Stop that.